Pablo. Yes. We're here in Manchester, New Hampshire. You're homeless. Tell me about it. I've been homeless six, seven years. Bounce around shelters, tents in the woods, and here in the park currently. As a homeless person, you learn quick to be transient and fluid. You stay in one place too long, and you're a target. The new mayor uh, wants to clean up the city from homeless, but we scatter around like pigeons. We go here, there, and everywhere. But anyway, uh, I want to be a voice to the homeless, because the homeless have no voice. They get kicked around, and the stereotype is we're all drug addicts or drunks. That may be true. A lot of it is uh, financial circumstances. So for whatever reason, we're here. We're not going away. But, and it's uh, getting worse. I'm shocked at how many homeless people are. It's getting worse. The homeless uh, population is going up. The last census, there's 600 documented homeless in the city. How you document us, we kind of... We don't want to give out our names or whatever, for whatever reason. Some people have arrest warrants, bench warrants, you name it. We're targets. Yeah. But, um... So there, are they I, arresting people and giving them tickets out here? Uh, yes, they are. They give you one warning if you don't move right off. I got woken up 2 o'clock in the morning. So By police? Know, yes. They said if uh, we come back, you're going to get arrested for vagrancy... If you don't have two dollars in your pocket, you get nailed for a uh, bag of bond or whatever. Small yeah. city laws. And uh, well, where are you gonna go? Wherever I can go. Cause like right here, you're sleeping out in the open, and you said the last 24 hours it's been freezing and raining. Yes, yes. Uh, yesterday it rained till about two. Then it got cold and windy, and then I finally hunkered down and slept. My friend over there, Tommy, and then the cops said, there was an event at the uh, SNU arena. So it's going to be hundreds of people walking by. You're an eyesore to the city. So I'm like, yeah, I've been called worse. But he said, you got to move it, or if I come back, you're going to get arrested. So that's how it is out here. I mean, I signed up for this, you know, for various reasons I won't get into. But like I said, I could be your sister, your brother, your uncle. I'm a grandfather, for God's sakes. 65 years old. But You're 65. Here I am. Yes, I am. You look good for 65. Well, given yeah, the and you said you signed up for this, but nobody nobody wants to shit I know, outside. No, no. If, if I was young and someone said you'd be 65... Living out in the cold, I would have said no. Yeah. I owned a house. I had a business in Exeter, and uh, I lost that. I refinanced too many times and got underwater mortgage-wise. So I had to give up my house. Got divorced. My daughter's left. So here I am. Is that how you ended up homeless? Yes. Kind of snowballed. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, things went from bad to worse. I'm hanging in there. I mean, I have hopes. And then you were saying, I mean, uh, you know, people, some people use drugs, some people drink. You don't use drugs. No, But no it's drugs, hard to no do drugs. homeless sober. Well, it is because reality sets in and you get depressed. So I'm like, oh, give me a beer. Give me 10 beers. Anything to kill the pain. And right. The, the depression. So one thing leads to another, but... No, I, I've been in six rehabs. I learned a lot. So my drinking is in half what it used to be. So yeah. I keep it under control. Six rehabs? Yeah. They <laughs> fail. That's what people don't realize is rehabs fail. I learned a lot, but it didn't cure my addiction. Right. You know, only you can cure you, or God. Right. But I, I got the DNA. My father was a drunk. He took off when I was a baby. Yeah. So I carry that stigma and the guilt. Yeah. A lot of people in Rio, especially girls with sexual abuse, it's trauma, PTSD. Right, people use you drugs carry that to, yeah, to they, kill the pain. The to whole, kill the pain and then homelessness the is another soul. pain. Homelessness. Well, Pablo, it's, it's starting to rain. What are you going to do? You're not going to stay here, are you? Yeah, I'll put the top of me. 
That's all I can do. Oh, yeah, I see the tarp. I tried to get into the shelter, but I, I got a bad hip, and I don't walk so good, so I'm kind of stuck here. So you don't want to go into the shelter because you got a I bad hip? I tried because you sit there for an hour, and they said no beds, so I got a limp back here. Oh, so is it, is it only like an emergency shelter, beds at night? Yeah. Well, the, the old shelter I called. There's another new one on uh, Silly Road. Yeah. I tried getting in there one night and I sat there. Come back at 8. It was like 5.30. So I said, screw that. And I came back here. Yeah, because it's getting cold and I with raindrops have been falling on my head. Yeah. No, you're right. You just deal with it. It just, you got no well, choice. Well, you shouldn't have to. I know, but uh, I didn't make this choice. Life made the choice. Right. But I'm a born again Christian, believe it or not. So I believe God. You know, in times of yeah. trouble, yep. Mother, Mother Mary come to me. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I believe in God. I hope to God. I go day by day, hour by hour, out here. Yeah. You can't think about tomorrow or yesterday. You just live. Yeah. Do the best you can. If you had three wishes, what would they be? Oh, to get a place of my own, a room and house. I get a check on the first, but it seems to go real quick. Not Some enough for food rent. Food and everything. You know, I gotta, you gotta have your priorities, you know? Yeah. You gotta have food and blankets. Yeah. Uh, you can't think too beyond. It's extremely hard to save money out here. Yes, it is. Yeah. yeah. And I was looking at rents a moment ago. It's it's expensive here. Yeah, one bed apartment, the cheapest is probably twelve hundred, and they go all the way up to six. Oh yeah, I see. Yeah, that. Who's, who's yeah. got that? So wish number two. Just peace and serenity for all the people who love and take yeah. care of me. And wish my, number my three. Friends, Tommy, Tony, all my friends. I've scattered all yeah. about. Yeah. But people keep an eye on me. Because when yeah. you're alone, I mean, I have God always and Jesus Christ in my heart. But in the end, you know, day to day, your friends close by are all yeah. look out for you. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you very much for talking to me. Okay, yeah. I uh, put a video on YouTube a couple of years ago in the woods. I don't know what... Okay, what well, I'll see if I can but find it. Are, like I said, I want to be a voice for the homeless. Yeah. Because they don't... They, they've been beaten down, beaten down, so they just kind of squirrel yeah. away and say, no one cares about me. Society has left me behind. But I won't left behind. I called uh, a senator, Maggie Haston. She's a friend. I worked at her house in Brentwood, New Hampshire. And I put out, I said, I'll go to Congress as a spokesman for the homeless. I don't give a shit. See, this is how it is. Did, Which, they, did she respond? No, I haven't heard back. No, yeah. they, get, they get a million calls a day from constituents. Yeah. Yeah. You know how it well, is. Yeah. People yeah. in Congress, they're all millionaires. All they do is yeah. take in. How you yeah. doing? Yeah. All right, hang in there. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you very much for talking to me. Okay. Thank you very much. Pray for us. I will. We'll make it. No, I had a friend yesterday. Froze to death. He was an alcoholic. Sitting outside the store. Froze to death out here. Yeah, I got down to uh, the mid 20s. I heard, oh my uh, Scotty, uh, Scotty you gotta died last You got to get inside, Pablo. It's, it's every day. Yeah. All right, Pablo, just pray for me.